Dr. Shadali Bey, a chance discovery by Lipsens, who introduced, introduced my integration of physical sciences into sociology, when he found that I had written a book, New Dimensions in Sociology, a physical favorable approach to human behavior. Then his, his discovery then prompted me to write more on physical, physical chemical sociology. And that's how we, I entered into the team and developed the, developed the social physical chemical theory. And this one is the fourth paper, fourth paper in, the, in that series when I wrote. Uh, I, I would like to start right away on on, on on terror and terrorism. Physical, physical sciences, terror is a, is a, is a force it, it follows Newton. He states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In life sciences, terror triggers stressful stimulus. Results in physical, physi physiological symptoms comprising a stress situation. In social, social physical, uh, physical theory, process is a, is a process of inducing distress. There, terror is physical, terror in physical sciences constitutes application of physical force and hence incidence of terrorism related activity follows Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Accordingly, the response to applied physical self force would be an equal and opposite, opposite physical force, meaning with the terror, terror will be a terror in one form or the other. Extending over brutality including executions, guerrilla attacks, ethnic cringing, and genocide. Terror in physical chemical terms triggers stressful stimulus that results in physiological constitutes in the, the process of reducing distress. The, we are some terror or terrorism acts by energy transfer or exchange during spontaneous reactions of potential oxidants with the aim of reducing the free energy or driving force of the target and frustration among the effects. Fear may be a terror and terror may be more terror, but just like energy, terror or terrorism cannot be annihilated. And this is a it follows the first law of thermodynamics. Terror or terrorism may assume different forms, may hibernate and re-emerge at a later date. In consideration of terrorism, the rising transfer or exchange of energy, it follows the second law of thermodynamics. That's where we, we introduce thermodynamics into the, into the social so physical, physical, chemical, sociology, and that's that, that's how I integrate physical sciences or physical chemical sciences into 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 sociology. Now, in the social physical perspective, internal internal energy is considered analogous to resources, which will under equilibrium conditions given by equation 12 and 3 in the, in the text, will remain constant for a community settled in an isolated place unless converted into another material form or waste. A communal system under, under the conditions of delta G equal to zero has no tendency to modify or transform its resources since its transiency for forward reactions is in balance with the desire to reverse the, the reaction. The community will lose energy 
in cases where delta G is less than zero, and the reaction induced by interaction with the or social oxygen the or the social oxygen in the surrounding is spontaneous. The system will gain energy when delta G is much greater than zero. This is the is the is the Weber reaction, which is non-spontaneous. Stress is removed in such systems by obtaining a relief in a relief or input of free energy from outside. In doing so, in dealing with the with another system, the social oxidant in the form of fear, terror, that is a skeletal form, will use up the, the internal energy or resources in the sum. The advanced societies of the past and industrialized countries of the present obtained control over others. The was low. Now that different factions in the, in the data the efficient countries are in, in conflict with one another, the order in their society has turned into disorder and chaos, leading to a decadence. This has led to regaining higher driving force. Delta G, by the dominated social units of the past. Examples available from history, as well as the, as the present, are available to show that empires have fallen without victim, fallen victim to decrease in enthalpy and increase in entropy, perhaps because they could not maintain the balance between enthalpy and entropy. Compact societies have managed to ensure them the amount of security and necessary to maintain a decent quality of life by observing law and order prescribed for the land. There are decreased the energy of the system and hence it is rightly considered an option. Terrorism is the use of force or violence against persons or property in violation of the criminal laws of the country for purposes of intimidation or ransom and should, should be considered as an, act, as an act of social entropy. Social structures in high entropy and low driving force are vulnerable to domination and to being prevailed upon by components of social, social entropy. Social structure with high level of social entropy is accordingly characterized by high entropy and low free energy as well as driving force. Conversely, societies with low level of social entropy are expected to have large free energy and low randomness and greater order. It is important to realize that terror becomes more terror and the more the life is focused on terror, the more terrorized becomes one's life, which develops into a never-ending vicious cycle. That does not annihilate. This is in accord with Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Response to applied physical force is, in, uh, is an equal and opposite physical force. The opposite of fear, fear is ground reality. Hence, the opposite of, opposite of terrorism cannot be more terror in the form of counter-terrorism because interaction of terror with potentiated terror may entail exothermic creation that will induce an explosive situation. Like this. Most systems readjust under, under stress by counteracting and instituting a new equilibrium which may allow recovery. There are scores of instances in history on the rise and fall of civilizations where those subjugated regained their lost power. Terror has in most cases been countered with potentiated terror, but has not been annihilated. Resources delta H were depleted instead. Acts of terrorism may induce maximum depletion of enthalpy as in equation six in the text. But according to the third law of motion, terror may be more terror since a reaction to terrorism will be equally a vehement. 
Hence, the free energy minimum at constant temperature and pressure representing the most satisfactory compromise for sustainable living in the clean environment can be attained by maintaining the natural balance between enthalpy and enthalpy. The term the natural balance between enthalpy given by, by, by our, the <coughs> data equation and entropy given by the data is by R can be obtained by can be obtained by optimizing temperature and allows to maintenance of peace and pressure and allows to stress increase in, the, in either parameter beyond the optimum increase increases their in their severity and chances of spontaneity in socio physical physical chemical perspective excessive use of force will create stress and strain and escalate the intensity of fear into terror. Since terror becomes more terror, use of, use of excessive force will set a vicious circle in motion. War on terror may fall, which may lead to race or superiority or inferiority and richness or poverty. The balance between enthalpy or resources and entropy that is waste will remain disturbed. More resources will be fixed and will, like waste, not be available. A win-win situation will be difficult to attain, while the ensuing disorder will increase instead of being reversed. A win-win situation is not on the cards in the, in the current interactions in terrorism and counterterrorism, since the objective is to trap the free, to trap the energy and deplete the resources, which is attained by keeping the adversary in, in preparedness for war for, 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 years, for, for years, if not decades, and keep the term arms in production to maintain security in trade and weapons. Repression of terror by use of force is expected to follow later, 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 later use this one, which has been adopted here as social physical chemical law of equilibrium. The law states when a system of equilibrium is subjected to changing parameters like this itself to counteract maybe partially the effect of applied change and a new equilibrium is established. Application of the law to terrorism suggests that on incidents of terror, the terrorized will prepare and be in readiness for defense. This action will likely be due to the realization that terror will sooner or later bigger terror, and hence there will be an urgent need for readjustment. Restoration of equilibrium is generally sought by considering dolphins as the best defense. That, however, has been found to set a vicious circle in motion, and instead of annihilating or even containing the impact of terrorism, it continues unabated. This is generalized by the vicious circle. That follows. It is only in a small group that probability of finding order is high. In larger groups, adequately standard. This is how a small group of terrorists is able to, 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 to face the state if the state is also terrorism. The forces that bring order have, have to be cohesive in nature and to be inherent in the system. Otherwise, individuals present in it will respond to the natural urge our natural urge for higher entropy or greater, greater randomness, dissociation or disintegration syndrome. The current war on terror presents a basic example. The social accident is using up the eternity. Mirza, this is to let you know that you have five minutes left. Okay. Operation of the said vicious circle is in the hands of the same countries that are engaged in maintaining their superiority in trade and weapons. It is not in their interest to retract 
Thank you, Mirza. Excellent talk. Yeah. Hello. Questions? Uh, Mirza, can I ask you one question from your talk? What is your main variable that you would suggest to help fight terrorism thermodynamically? Would you, would you repeat what you said, uh, Dave? Sure. The question is, from your equations, what is the main uh, thermodynamic variable that we can apply in society to solve terrorism problems? Entropy. Social Entropy of force. We are, we, are depleting, we are depleting the free energy and, the, and, the, and also depleting the, the uh, resources. Uh, that is what is creating creating higher entropy. And more the entropy increase, the more will be the Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Anyone else who wants to ask a question? I th I think I had I agree with that, and, but I put it in different words that, that the way we structure econ uh, economies it is so disparate in, in income. And to me, that's some kind of entropy. I, I don't know. So, so I, I think I'm agreeing with Dr. Alibad, but um, that, but we have to define that entropy more explicitly. And I think that entropy that you're talking about is accentuated by uh, differences in income. For example, in my country, the United States, this has tremendously been an increase in income and that with other things uh, has resulted in more and more social chaos and uh, more potential for very serious disruption in our society. Um, and if we could take your ideas and maybe quantify them a little bit more, I don't know, we have to make the case with examples from different parts of the world. Uh, and we just heard one from Africa that I also thought was very good. So I think these two, these two talks together uh, are really good for causing us to think some more about how we might apply um, these ideas that I think many of us believe are very powerful. So thank you. Nice, excellent idea, Charles. I like, the, I like your suggestion. Good, whoever said that. Uh, Lib. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, so thank you, Mirza.